it's been a week long task for the DCI investigating the untimely and brutal murder of Rita Waeni. We have finally made a breakthrough and found her head, which was chopped from her body. The head was disposed near a local dam in Kiamba, Kiambu County. Rita Waini met her untimely demise on 13th January 2024. Investigative officers at the scene also discovered Mweni's phone nearby. Assumptions indicate that the killer might be Kenyan, as those who engaged with the individual shown on the CCTV footage say that he spoke really good Swahili. It is well in to note that investigations are still taking place. Rita's killer really concentrated on removing her fingernails, which happens mostly when criminals are trying to hide their tracks, as government pathologists state. Police are investigating the case thoroughly. Rita, Rita's family attests that the killer asked for 500,000 Kenyan shillings so as to spare Rita's life. She had left her aunt's house in Tsukimau to meet a friend, a friend who turned out to be the end of her. After the ransom ask, the parents immediately reported the incident to the police for investigation. The lifeless remains of Rita Waeni were discovered in a trash bag by the caretaker with her head missing at a local Airbnb near Thika Road Mall. It is alleged that the killer used contacts that were not his to contact Rita Waeni and the Airbnb owner. We are left haunted by the harrowing story of a young girl whose life was tragically cut short. The discovery of a dismembered body at a seemingly idyllic bed and breakfast has shaken an entire nation to its core. Leaving us with more questions than answers, we are reminded that behind every headline lies a story, a life no different from our own, snuffed out in a manner too grotesque to comprehend. May she rest in peace. This is Unforgettable Crimes. My name is Doris Moore to remember to subscribe and see you on the next one.